Hi, this is Tulgay here, and I'm going to show you my three guns that I'm going to shoot a range test. Now, those three guns are the Nerf Elite Strong Arm, the Barricade RV-10, and the Recon CS-6. And I'll be showing a different item as well. So... Stay tuned, and I'll be ready in a second. Just wait, and I'll be getting my Nerf. And I'll be showing you my Nerf strong arm. Now, this is a part of a leak line, but I usually use the Whistler darts, which are these darts. Now, um... I'm going to show you a shooting test. Now, the hallway is just about not that long, I guess, because it pretty doesn't shh. It, this gun shoots very far, I could see that, but I'll just give you a test. Now, we're uh, we Loading it. Let's try to shoot. Now I'm going to be shooting four darts. Make sure I go far. Wait. Okay, that's all of them fired off. Now, they do actually a pretty good that far because this dart over here only went about uh, half of the corridor and they went the same as the other one and this one reached exactly this one over here which reached exactly the corridor so it's about so the hallway is about 30 feet long, and it shot 30 feet. Now, let's get to the barricade. I'll be there in a sec. So, this is my barricade, which can hold up to 10, 10, uh, whistling darts. Now, the thing is, with this gun, oh wait, the dart dropped. Okay, the good thing about this gun is that the sounds is really good, and it has rapid fire mode or single fire mode and we don't have to actually just turn this wheel around we could just press the trigger so it's just like a bit like the maverick so um you can put like a stock at the back of here and i'm not going to show you how far this shoots because this doesn't have any bar batteries now um you can hear the motor is really low. So I'm not going to do a shooting test. I'm going to show you the model of the gun. And it also writes a barricade. It's, it's a bit of a inside, I guess. Somewhere up there. Ugh, man. Feels a bit weird. It writes it there, but you can't pretty see it. So, 
this gun is weird. I once did a double shoot with this. Now, I'm going to be showing you the last gun. Oh wait, I'll just show you the item that I use in Nerf Battles. I use the Nerf Bandolier. I use this a lot to just carry ammo and um, or hold my gun, like hold the barricade. I just sometimes just put on here and then green. And I just sometimes just put it in like that. It stays like that. And when I am out of ammo with my recon, I just start shooting this. Which is a bit like a double shoot. And this is pretty fun to use because I always win in a nerf battle because I don't usually run off out of ammo. Now, I'm usually planning to buy the nerf tactical vest and strike because when I tried Elite Line with the. Um, with the recon, it kind of jammed a little, so it was pretty, um, uh, well, crap. So, I'm going to be showing you the recon now. Now, this is my Nerf Recon CS6. Um, I kind of lost the laser and the little aimer thing that's used for this gun. Well, I'm going to have to just... This gun is was pretty heavy with the tactical light and the aimers, so... Um, this can only hold six darts. It can only come with one. And this, um, I got two of the ammo clips by myself, the bandolier. And one my friend gave me because he didn't want to use it all. He had like three of them. And then, um, let's go to the shooting test. Banged my hands there. Okay, now this. Um, it. I'm gonna shoot all twelve darts, even this that's stuck in the stock. I'm gonna try to do a shooting test. Now this is not modified. Do <laughs> that. is just force it out and then you put, you put the clip back in and it goes in like that. So this can sometimes get jammed. Angle shot. Let's walk and see where those landed to. Um, forget about the whistler darts that are on the floor. Uh, you can't quite see it because I can't hold the camera properly. Now, the lowest one was only up to here, which 
is kind of on the ground. I can't really count. That's the last one. Which and we went about 25 feet. And then the middle one, <laughs> go up here, was the one in the middle, which is about 27 and a half feet. And we'll get to the highest one, which is this one over here, which landed about 28 feet. Now, thank you for watching, and give me a, a like and a comment that, that I might appreciate. Okay, bye.